I don't know if you guys get excited as I do when packages come on a Sunday. Just got a big shipment of parts from Rocky Mountain ATV. Pretty fast on the shipping. I think we ordered them Thursday night maybe. And um, here it is Sunday afternoon. FedEx guy just showed up. Let's see what we got in here. Fresh air filter. Definitely gonna need that guy. Got a rear shock seal kit with bearing. Grips. Steering stem bearings, as those are pretty cooked. O rings for the pipe. Spring. Rear wheel bearing kit. Another spring and seal. One more to go. And a front tube, just in case. We're not perfect here at 723 Productions, so been known to pinch one a time or two, but we're hoping for the best on this one. I, uh, before you do that, you want to just grab that stand. Take it off for now, right? Yeah. Yeah. Right. <clears throat> Did you see uh, MX Revival's homemade leak down tester? Yeah. That looks kind of cool, huh? Triple tree is off. Bearings are uh, just, a, just a little dry. I. <laughs> I don't think they, they greased these too much in 2003 or the fact that it was yeah 20 years old. The, uh, the upper one's not as bad, but that, I mean, it's bad, but the, the bottom one is absolutely smoked. So luckily the Tusk kit did come with new races. As you can see, there's definitely some wear. Um, the bottom one is much worse. Just, of course, you can't really see in there that good, but it's just all the rust got pitted into it, so... We got Mitch over here slaving over the tires. My favorite part of wrenching on their bike's tires. Everybody loves tires, oils, and air filters. Oh, that's the best. I'd rather change a tire than an air filter. Oh, <laughs> just buy a new air filter. <laughs> yeah, I gotta agree with you there. So, all right. We got new races, all greased up. That one's a little hard to see because it's dark in there, but we got fresh bearings. Uh, the clamp is yonder. Yep, so just about ready to put it back in. What we did here is we put the steering stem bearings on mute. They don't make that noise anymore. Yep, that's the key. Sounds a little better that way. Uh, just a smidge. Got the uh, fork tubes back in the RM and realized uh, the bars are behind <laughs> the fork tubes. So unless we feel like unhooking all the wires and cables and stuff, I'm gonna pull the fork tubes back off. <laughs> Whoops. You'll have that. So after a little more inspection, we are going to have to order a new rotor because uh, let's see if I can get it in with the angle, but you can see there like it's grooved out pretty bad. So we're going to order up a new rotor, fresh pads, pads are, oh, and the brake pin. <laughs> it's got a little bit of wear to it. So, yep. So more parts. Pipe is off as I just showed you. I'm gonna bring this back over to my garage and see if we can clean up some of this rust with the MX Prime wheels. 
and uh, just make that look a little better. Okay, linkages out of the RM, push the sleeve out, and as you can see, the bearing just fell apart. So, and it's definitely, again, no grease, which is kind of surprising because the rest of the linkage was, was greased up pretty well. Really well. So, all right, so let's, uh, let's get a new one in there. together. Brian and I just got back from a, a little hike in the woods and a lunch over an open fire. Had a good hike. That'll be uh, on a future video, so check that out. As you saw, Mitch and I uh, got to work on the RM250. We did find that we had to order a rear rotor and some pads, so we're going to be waiting on that. I hope you enjoy the video so far and uh, we love to hear your feedback so like comment share and uh, subscribe and uh, we'll see you on the next one